Hey, what's up guys? Welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm Pierre Monnier and today we'll talk about F3K. So, um, the request you asked me a lot lately in the comment uh, was uh, which one do I prefer, which one is the best, how it shows a fly. But instead of doing a 20 minutes video, I think I prefer to do a 5 to 10 minutes video to explain to you uh, roughly but with a lot of precision um, and to be really clear what for me is the best glider of today and a lot of your request was about uh, how is it compared to the BAMF so I never talk about the BAMF uh, it, because it was really complicated last year uh, about this glider so um, yeah that's uh, a bit complicated for me to talk about it but anyway I will talk about it so the three gliders uh, I will talk about today is the BAMF, the Vortex 3 and the Energy. It's a three glider you ask in the comment lately. So, first of all, let's talk about the BAMF. Um, what I think about the BAMF. So the BAMF is a complicated glider to pilot um, for me. And uh, not that much to set because uh, the, there is a lot of setting on the net. So you just copy them and it, it fly quite well. But... Um, for me, to manage in the air, it's not really the the most easy, the, it's unstable, it's a bit vicious on the edge. Uh, I, it, it was not my thing, I, I like to be able to leave the glider fly by itself a bit. And uh, with the BAMF, I was never able to get the agility I want. Um, with the sticks and to move the glider like I want and the stability to let it fly by itself and uh, be able to look for some more and sit, still come back well from downwind. The, these three things was nearly impossible to get together for me so um, with my point of view, with my feeling, all of this. So maybe for many other people um, it will not be like this, but yeah, it's my point of view, you ask it my point of view, so I reply. And uh, by the way, as you might know, Anthony Rotler uh, has been a European champion with Banff. Um, <laughs> don't pay attention too much about what Anthony fly. Uh, why do I say that? It's nothing about the Banff. Uh, it's because Anthony is so good at piloting that you can put it anything in his hand, uh, it, he will won the contest anyway. Uh, this guy is really an amazing pilot, he don't talk about it because <laughs> he's so humble about that, so uh, Anthony is a really a great guy, so he's a really, really, really talented pilot. Uh, he deserves so, so much this uh, title of a European champion. Um, so, don't pay attention about what do he fly, because you can, you, you can fly anything really, really great. So, yeah, uh, yes, the BAMF is uh, in, in the good gliders of today, but he, he would have won with any of the top 20 gliders of today. So, uh, sorry for my voice a bit cracked, I was sick uh, all this week, so, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, now let's talk about the Vortex 3. So, uh, why the Vortex 3 is one of my favorite gliders? Um, because um, it, it's the Vortex 3. <laughs> the flying characteristics, the two-piece wings, uh, how it's built, it's, it's really interesting and it suits me quite, quite well. Um, this glider is the glider who had the less jedral uh, on the wing. Uh, from the three glider and uh, so BAMF, Vortex 3, Energy. Um, so it flies a bit differently, but it's it's really big enough friendly. Uh, this glider can take care of your stick input, <laughs> if I can say it like this. Uh, it will absorb a lot of uh, stick input mistake uh, you will uh, do if you are a beginner or intermediate the pilot because um, this glider is really gentle um, for me to get the less gentle as possible and the maximum of performance 
uh, I need to move so much further back the CG and it still fly really really good. Uh, this glider is amazing about the CG, it can tolerate a really huge range, uh, about I will say 58 to 70 mm uh, of, C uh, of CG. So it's really really wide, it's 12 mm of wide and um, yeah it's, it, it's quite a lot actually because many of the glider is 4 to 6 mm which is already huge for the scale of the glider. So this glider can tolerate a, a lot but it could be a downside if you look really for um, huge accuracy, a lot of responsiveness of this thing the glider will look a bit soft to the sticks or something like this but it could be a really good thing if you are a bit stressed in contest uh, the glider will really take care of you so yeah I think it's the great glider for every day uh, the Vortex 3 and what about the energy? so the energy is my number one actually uh, why? Because it's a bit like comparing uh, Formula 1 to sports car. Uh, the energy is really a Formula 1. Um, it's really on the edge of everything. Uh, I, it's from something, it's above everything I ever saw, I ever flew. Uh, it it has so much a good, as, you, as we call in English, long legs. So it can travel a lot of ground without sinking it's it's really impressive uh, the speed range is amazing uh, you can go re to really really slow to really fast so about ballasting it make you a um, big av advantage because if you are too heavy or too light you have not a lot of handicap so if you are too light you just let it fly a bit faster and you sink maybe a tiny bit much but not that much and you're still competitive with other gliders and if you are a bit of a ballast so you, you put a bit more, more flaps and the glider will be completely fine so uh, this glider is quite amazing for this um, the speed range, the launch and the build quality uh, this glider has the stiffest wing I ever felt so uh, it's super stiff, it's well built, uh, it's light because the T-Stream version uh, is at 210 to 220 grams, depending on how you build it. Um, so basi basically, uh, this glider is really over the top, so it's why I choose it. Okay, the um, it's a bit less, uh, it's a bit more twitchy about the, the settings. If you move the CG, it will be a bit sensitive about this, but. Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad as some of the glider when you move at from one half millimeter, not one and a half, but a half of millimeter. You feel it immediately, and oh my god, it flies so bad. And there you can move from one millimeter. It's not that bad. You feel it, but it's not that bad, and the glider continues to fly okay. So the glider is still easy, but it's a re real Formula One. And yeah easy to pilot it's but you need to have the good settings with not the good settings it's 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 already really good but it's not at the maximum potential of the glider so yeah that's about it uh, just a quick explanation about uh, my youtube channel lately so uh, I saw about something uh, and uh, for me it was quite obvious but I never told it in the, on the channel uh, I don't want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to make things for YouTube. I make things for me and I share it on YouTube. So it's why uh, I will not uh, do more, more, more S3K because you ask it. Uh, I want to do S3K content because I want to do it and not uh, because um, not because I say to myself, oh, viewers want to see F3K. No, uh, I do what I like and I share it. This is my point of view. So if you don't like it, I'm really sorry about that. But uh, this is what I want to do. So if you want to, if 
if you see S3K, it's because I want to do S3K. If you do, if you see FPV on my channel, it's because I want to do FPV and I share it. So uh, I share what I do. This is a channel about me and what I do. So thank you a lot for following me and see you in the next video. Bye.